uh, once again, um, on the level that we're playing, more times than not, we're not putting this in to actually steal the ball. Sometimes teams get a little frantic and you will get a steal. Uh, normalmente o sea, el, bueno, nuestro objetivo no es tanto el de robar el balón como el de ralentizar el juego. Ahora, si conseguimos un robo de balón, todo está bien. Or sometimes after a free throw, you can put this on and maybe a team's not really prepared for it. Uh, they take the ball quick out of bounds and all of a sudden there's a trap and they're not ready. And once again, maybe you get a steal. Uh, también podemos utilizarlo después de tiros libres porque a lo mejor esas situaciones podía no haberlas preparado previamente el equipo contra el que nos enfrentamos. But more importantly, uh, when you're playing a team like a Golden State Warriors or a Phoenix Suns, teams that really want to fly the ball up the court, they get the ball into a guy like Nash and he's gone. Once you put this type of set on, you can slow the ball down a little bit. Yeah, pero contra equipos como eh, los uh, Suns de Steve Nash o como Golden State Warriors, eh, esta, vamos a utilizar este recurso eh, defensivo para tratar de ralentizar la, el balón, la subida del balón. Okay, we're going to do this with no offense, so obviously you can imagine uh, how the offense would be set up. But I just want to talk to you about the spaces and the responsibilities. Mm. Uh, nosotros no sabemos cómo, cómo se va a colocar el otro equipo, pero eh, lo que sí que voy a explicar es cuáles son, o sea, cuál es la distribución y las, las responsabilidades de cada jugador. Okay, our center man here, he's our trapper, obviously. All right, he's going to be here in the middle, waiting for the ball to be inbounds in whichever direction the ball goes. Este jugador va a ser el que va a establecer el dos contra uno. Entonces eh, tiene que estar muy atento acerca de dónde eh, se empieza a jugar el balón. Our two wings are in a position where they're keeping the player in front of them, not allowing the player to be get behind them because we don't want the ball to go over the top. Los jugadores a los lados van a estar eh, o sea, a cargo de tratar de parar al jugador, eh, tratar de, o sea, y, evidentemente tratar de que no evolucione en la pista. Our middle man is matching up one on one with whoever is here in the center of the court. And that guy may be lined up on the sideline, he may be in the middle, but it's this guy's responsibility to match up with him so that they don't make the easy pass over the top. Este jugador se va a encargar de cualquiera que sea el jugador que se coloque en el centro para subir la bola. And then our big guy in the back is obviously protection. Um, when you put a trap on, the last thing you want to do is give up a layup. So you got to have some protection in the backcourt of the basket. So he's back there matched up with the big guy, but more importantly, making sure that nobody throws the ball over and there's no easy layup opportunities. El jugador que tenemos más cercano a la canasta eh, tiene como objetivo el proteger el balón eh, de cualquier eh, bandeja eh, o de cualquier pase largo. Que se pueda producir. Okay, he slaps the ball and he breaks to the right corner. Pásasela. Okay, we're gonna allow that pass. We're never gonna be up denying that pass. We don't care about that pass. We welcome that pass. And never are we gonna be in a position where we're denying that pass so that this guy can break over the top and now it's a long over the top pass. We're always keeping this guy in front. Sí, para nosotros el primer pase no es importante eh, y en ningún momento vamos a estar presionando eh, o sobremarcando, negando la línea de pase para que este jugador reciba y tenga todo el campo abierto. Okay, on that catch, we're coming in, not with a hard trap, with a soft trap, just trying to keep this guy under control, realizing, number one, that he's got eight seconds to get the ball over half court, all right, and then number two, we're taking seconds off the shot clock. Okay. Eh, nuestro objetivo aquí no es el de hacer un, eh, un dos contra uno muy intenso, sino simplemente el de contener, el de mantener aquí, porque sabemos que eh, los, eh, nuestros, eh, nuestro oponente va a tener ocho segundos para pasar de medio campo. Okay, as the ball comes in to either side and that initial trap takes place, our opposite wing immediately is coming to the middle. El jugador eh, que está a un lado y donde no se produce el tra va a desplazarse hacia el centro del campo contrario. Okay, the mistake 
the mistakes uh, that a lot of teams will make is they will leave their wing up to deny this return pass, and then the pass in the middle is open, and that ignites a fast break. One of the most common mistakes is that this player, instead of being placed here, lo que hace es subir, eh, a negar esta línea de pase, eh, con lo cual el centro lo dejan todo desprotegido. Okay. By welcoming that pass back, we have now taken three seconds off the shot clock. We've put more pressure on them to get the ball over the center court line, and now we have another opportunity for a second trap on the pass back. Yeah. En esa situación ya le hemos sacado unos segundos eh, bueno, al ataque del equipo contrario y si se produce un pase detrás siempre tenemos una nueva oportunidad para volver otra vez a establecer un 2 contra 1. Okay, most teams in this type of press will only press in the backcourt twice. Okay, so after that pass back here we will send the point guard back, we'll bring this wing in, we'll bring him to the middle, and this is now our second trap. Usually we don't trap more than twice in the backcourt. So normalmente ningún equipo hace más de dos, dos contra unos en, eh, en este campo. Okay, so if for whatever reason now the ball were to go to the side, now we're all going to start retreating back down court and either getting in the man-to-man -man or a zone. Entonces, a partir de esta situación, si por algún motivo ese balón sale de aquí, ¿eh? vamos a pasar a, bueno, a la siguiente fase, que sería trabajar una zona o eh, situaciones de, de defensa individual. Ok. Um, now, so that it can look a little bit more uh, like a real situation, we'll put the rest of the offensive guys on so that you can see a little bit more of how it, the actual matchups take place. These two guys are going to be in a stack. Okay, we're going to put just a real basic, a real basic offensive press break on, not the one that I use, uh, but I will show you the one that I use in, in just a moment. Uh, but this is usually how teams are going to set up. Uh, somebody's taking the ball out. Usually these guys are in a tandem. You've got a guy here in the middle, and you got a guy down. Okay, we're matching up with this guy, so they can't make the easy pass. We're matching up with this guy. We've got our wings, and then we've got our center trapper. Well, esta más o menos es la, bueno, no es, no es la que él va a explicar después para salir de, de una presión, pero esta es la que normalmente utilizan eh, muchos de los equipos que se pueden presentar, eh, o sea, que, que se tienen que enfrentar a, a este tipo de presión. Jugador que sacan, dos jugadores eh, agrupados, un jugador en el centro, y el otro jugador, que normalmente es el hombre grande, colocado cerca de eh, la línea de fondo. Ok, so, on the snap of the ball, on the snap of the ball, there, and here. And one of this. Ok, now we're into a trap here. Ok, this guy is probably going to come to the middle. No, 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 no es tan fuerte. Es lo que estás haciendo okay. es, proteger, es proteger el espacio. No quieres que pasen, pero no quieres que rebasen. ¿De acuerdo? No es un dos contra uno de estar pegados. Okay, we're on a soft trap here. This guy that comes in the middle, we're matched up here. This guy is probably going to come to the side. Okay, and we're denying here. Okay, so in this situation, we're going to be in a deny position here. So he's not able to make that easy pass. Mm -hmm. We're going to be in a deny position here in the middle. And the pass that we're offering, Dinaje, obviously, pues, is cierra, the pass back. Cierra la línea de pase, ¿no? Sí, no, ahí. Vale. En esta situación, una vez que el pase se ha dado, este jugador normalmente lo que va a hacer es abrirse al espacio libre y estos dos jugadores que están defendiendo van a tratar de negar la línea de pase. ¿Eh? Este está negando la línea de pase y este también está haciendo. Ahí. Ok, once again, main objective is just to slow the ball down. If the offense makes a mistake, maybe we get a steal. But more importantly, we're trying to slow them down. Una, o sea, una vez más, tenemos que recordar que el objetivo no es el de cortar, o sea, el de robar el balón, sino el de simplemente ralentizar el, el, el juego del, del contrario. Ok. Pero, 
The pass that we're going to offer is the pass back here. When that pass is made, he's there, he's there, and he's got a sprint here. Okay, he's sprinting here. Our center guy, go back for a second. Go back. Goodbye. Again? Yeah. Okay, volver otra vez. Quédate aquí. Okay. La misma situación, ¿no? Do you want? Yeah, all the way back. All the way back. And the reason why I want to make sure it's clear, there's one thing I want to make sure that's clear is this guy for one second has a responsibility of almost zoning up. He's got to be here to kind of watch this guy, and he's watching this guy for one moment. Okay. Quiero volver a esta situación porque por un momento este jugador eh, va a tener una responsabilidad eh, de trabajar, eh, o sea, bueno, de ocupar este espacio porque se va a tener que ocupar de ese jugador y también de este en un momento dado. Okay, so now on the pass, Cuando se produce el paso, hay un cambio. He gets back, he's there, now he's matched up, he's matched up, once again, the pass that we're allowing is the pass back cross court. Se produce el pase al otro lado, hay un momento en el que él se coloca a ayudar, y cuando este jugador ya ha recuperado al que tiene que defender, va a volver. Y el único pase que permitimos es el de vuelta al jugador que previamente había recibido. Ok, now. When the pass is made there, cuando el pase se okay. se acaba ahí. and now they're pushing the ball on the break. Once you get to this point, you've had two hard traps, two soft man traps. Now it's time just to match up. Okay, so this once again is where communication comes in. Now all of a sudden, when that pass is made out, the point guard has got a scramble. He's trying to get back here. This guy is opening up. He's paying attention. And now when we go back, we're just in man-to-man -man defense. Okay, una vez se han hecho dos, eh, dos contra unos, que pueden ser más o menos intensos, el objetivo, o sea, nuestro objetivo va a ser el de volver otra vez eh, a asignar cada jugador a eh, uno de los atacantes. Eh, y después a partir de ahí pasar a lo que ellos hacen, que es defensa individual.